Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains Games here, welcome back to Minecraft. Got something a little bit complicated, but hopefully something a little bit interesting as well for you today. So as you can see on the screen right now, this is something we're all familiar with, it's just one redstone wire. It's just a piece of redstone wire. And as you also know, um, it can either be on or off. And that's it. It's quite useful. Obviously, it can turn things on and off. It can uh, turn lights on, turn lights off. But that's all it's good for. It just turns things on and off. Now, as you know, you know me, I like to make my gigantic redstone machines that do all sorts of stuff. And those machines need, you know, 10, 20, maybe 30 of these redstone wires to make them work. Now, if I was building a railway or something like that over a massive long distance, having to build 10 of these redstone wires is really quite annoying, and it takes a really quite a long time. So I wanted to find out if I could make an economic system which uses less redstone, but can still send different signals. Uh, so I did, I came up with that, I found a way to send sort of 8 different signals with 3 bits of redstone wire, but that isn't all that impressive, and you've still got to build 3 bits of redstone. So more recently, I figured out a way of sending multiple signals through just one single redstone wire. And this is what I came up with. Uh, this is a decoder. It has the input here, as you can see the input is just the one redstone wire, and it has the output here which is two different redstone wires. So this is a two function decoder, if you like, if we're going to talk train terms. Um, it's a two function decoder, um, there's no reason why you couldn't build a three or a four function decoder, but this particular one has just two. And uh, I'll say it again, as you can see, it is fed by just the one bit of redstone wire. And and uh, these are the encoders then. There's one encoder there, it's very simple, it's just a 3x3 three three encoder, that's all it is. And there's another one here as you can see, so that is the two different functions. But the important thing is that as you can see they are both feeding this one piece of redstone wire. So yeah, very clever, I'm sure you're all very impressed by that, not. So uh, what does it do exactly? Well I decided I would set up a little uh, machine that will run by this, uh, so we'll see what happens now. Okay, we've got this gigantic machine here, it is absolutely huge, but you don't have to pay any attention to it at all, it's just it's just there to demonstrate something, okay? But the point is, it is only connected to these two inputs, so you've got the one and the two coming from the decoder. And there's another machine over here, and again, this is really nothing special, it's just very big and very weird looking, but actually it's just a way of streaming data across this line. Now imagine this line is much much bigger. Let me just set the time to zero, hang on. Imagine that this uh, single redstone wire stretches into the distance for a hundred blocks. So uh, that's what we're imagining. It's a very short distance here, it's, what, it's about 30 blocks isn't it? But uh, yeah, imagine it's a much longer distance. Now what we've got here if I fly over here, we have a TV screen. And this TV screen is capable of displaying an image. So what we're going to try and do is send an image from this machine here, which is the encoding side, and we're going to try and receive it on this machine here, on the sort of decoding side, and display it on the screen. So obviously you have to be very, very accurate for that to work. So let me just talk a little bit about how this works then. So underneath here, this is the, the machine side, uh, which is going to be sending the signal, and I also should point out that as you can see, um, we have the, the sending machine here, which is made of stone, and the receiving machine over here, which is made of wool, and there is literally no connection between the two of them. Let me show you. I'll go all the way along. You can see there is no connection whatsoever. These aren't connected to anything. There's no connection whatsoever except the one piece of redstone wire. So the entire image is going to be sent just across this one piece of redstone, which is received by the decoder and sent into the machine. Okay, so how does it work? Let me go back over here. I know it's a lot of sort of waffle, but uh, hopefully it'll be interesting. So there's lots of levers under here. In fact, there's 25 in total. And they're all set. Some of them are on, some of them are off. And depending on how you set these levers, you can get a certain image to appear on the screen. So I'm not going to tell you what the image is just yet, because uh, I'm going to demonstrate and show you. But essentially, all of the data from those different levers is unloaded through one of these encoders. This one here. And then we have another encoder here which takes a different signal just to help control the machine. And it's all sent across this one bit of cable. So I guess you get that now. Essentially, we're sending an image across one piece of uh, golden cable. And as you can see, I've made it gold. So let's go and get this machine started then. And there is one button. 
Uh, the whole thing is controlled through that one piece of redstone. Uh, let me press this read button then. This is now going to dump all that information from the levers. It's going to dump all that information across this piece of redstone. <clears throat> and as you can see, it should be pulsing now. Let me just get a drink. Yep, you can see it pulsing. And you can also see that this uh, decoder has uh, jumped into life. And it's now controlling this massive machine to start building that image for us. <clears throat> now it builds that image very quickly. It takes about a minute and a half. So it's quite quick. It's not massively quick, but it is reasonably quick for what it's doing. And uh, let's go and take a look at the encoders. So there you have it. You can see the encoder there. Um, yep, that one's putting out, if you look at this when it comes out, it's quite a long signal, isn't it? Then you've got this encoder here, which is putting out a short signal. Let's see when it comes out. That one's quite a short one, you can see. So, uh, yeah, this is just dumping the information out. Look, one by one, each lever. There we are, that one's reading out. This one next, that one's reading out. And, of course, if it isn't selected, if it isn't turned on, we don't get the signal. So, uh, yeah, that is all being read across this one piece of redstone, as you can see. And uh, I'll cut this bit out, and as soon as the machine stopped, I'll show you the image. Okay, well, I didn't cut it out, actually. I just sped it up just to show that there isn't any monkey business going on. But, yeah, it's all finished, and the machine has gone back to sleep now. So let's go and have a look what's appeared on the screen, shall we? Whoa, there we go. Little message for you. Hi. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, that's not too impressive. I mean, it's just an image on a screen, isn't it? That's not too useful in Minecraft. But imagine a railway, for example. Normally, if you have a railway, you've got to have, I don't know, 20 of these different lines here to set each point, for example. But with decoders like this, you could just have two or three, and you could set, you know, I don't know, 30 different, well, eight, actually. Um, 8, 16, you could, a lot, you can set a lot of points with just a few of these in fact. So uh, yeah, imagine what you can do with that, um, there's all sorts, and as I say, all of this machinery, all of this machinery is totally irrelevant, because all we're really demonstrating here is the two encoders and the decoder. Okay, let's try something else then, um, just to show you that this isn't monkey business, and that it is, a, it is actually working. I'm going to put in another image onto here, so uh, I'm going to go and set some of these levers up. I will film it, and I'll just speed it up. So, uh, yep, I'm going to get my piece of paper with the numbers on it, and uh, I'll show you the next image. Okay, that's another image done. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to press the reset button. And again, the reset button works all through that one piece of redstone. Should disappear. There we go. That's high gone. And immediately I'm going to write the next drawing into it. And uh, we're going to stay here while it's drawn, actually, so that you can see it drawn in real time. So I'm going to speed this up again just so that it doesn't take another minute and a half. Uh, so here we go. Let's see what we get this time. <laughs> There we go, it's a smiley face, and uh, it's the machine is still going actually because these uh, top blocks aren't used. But uh, yep, yeah, that's just one application of it. Of course the image building thing is just quite frivolous and it's just entertaining, but it's not necessarily impressive. But as I say, railways, I don't know, the, uh, the possibilities are endless. There's so many different things you could do with it. So anyway, if you want to see more from this picture drawing machine, let me know. I can uh, mess around with it. We can offset it so that the picture appears in the wrong place on the screen. You can do all sorts with it, but uh, you get the picture. <laughs> no pun intended. So yeah, that's just a little bit about encoding and decoding. Really good fun. I've had fun uh, making this thing, and I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Okay, folks, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.